inside uh, this lecture we are going to discuss about class and id so open your code editor and save us this file by giving the name class dash id dot html and just save i'm just going to remove all this from the body area and from the style tag and just change css you can say class and id this is the title and you can just preview the page here class and id so we are just calling or declaring specifying a class with a dot sign so i'm just writing inside comments class with a dot sign and you can just duplicate this you can say id with a hash sign this is the difference between class and id let me just create heading 2 so i'm just writing here this is the first example just you can just duplicate this just like this this is the first this is the second example this is the third example number fourth this is for you number fifth uh, that's enough let's just remove the last one and just save this go to your browser and refresh so you can see this is the preview this all just heading to i want to give a red text color for the first one the green the blue the black and the orange one so just like this so the only if you are just going to select the heading two here and you can say the text color maybe something like red it will be applied on the all of them you can see so this not the solution the solution is you need to just create a class here call sign double quotation or you can use here single quotation you can just give a name here for example uh, heading one you can say just something like this you can just give double edge one or you can just copy this class control C you can paste here here inside just heading to everywhere this just double edge two this double edge three this double edge four and this double edge five now we have just a solution for this as I told, we are calling a class with dot double edge one. This is just for color red. You can just save this and refresh. So the first one is red. And just duplicate this by pressing Control plus D or Command plus D. You can just duplicate the text color should be green one. You can just duplicate for double edge three. The text color can be something like uh, maybe blue color and once again you can duplicate double edge four you can say the text color can be just black color but it's okay once again you do, can duplicate the last one double edge five dot double edge five we are calling a class with dot and the name of that class you can say just pink color save and refresh now you can see we have just five different color for the same heading that's called heading two the only solution is class and id now if i am just using id here save so we are calling just id with the hash sign this is the difference between class and id you can see there is no difference i have just refreshed the web page so we can call just id with the hash sign and we can just call a class with the dot sign so we can use class and id when we want to give different style for the same element as we used here for example five time heading two here we have used here so we have just given a class with different class names then you have just selected these class names with dot and for class with hash for id we have just given here a different text color for example you can say the background for this should be yellow 
for the first one el audible save and refresh now you can see for the second one you can see the background color maybe just orange color and for the third one you can see the background color can be something like again yellow and for this one the background color is white okay or just let's change this to something like pink color and for the last one you can see the background color can be just green you can save and refresh now you can see we have different text color different background color just by using class and id just for the same element that's having two like this for just better practicing you can just insert five time or six time article tag or p tag you can just copy and paste or you can write some random text inside that article tag and you can just create some class and some id like this the only difference that i can see between class and id that we can call an id with a hash sign and we can call a class with the dot sign this is the difference the big difference between class and id so we are not going to make this video just uh, lengthier than this so i hope you are understand and this video is helpful for you i hope you have enjoyed from watching this video so once again i'm just going to make you uh, i'm just going to tell you that please uh, practice watch the video and try to understand the concept and do practice have a nice time and see you